and five cent. Okay. <laughs> Hello, summoners. Welcome to another pulse pounding, ba -bum, ba -bum. lightning inducing, tower ascending ah. episode of A Monster Rancher's Guide to Summoner's War. <laughs> I am Detective Aztec Olmec, but it wouldn't be a proper <laughs> episode if I didn't have a Sky Island resident, Lightstar777, with me. What is up, fellow summoners? Hope you all had a great week, Aztec. As always, how are you doing, my friend? Just getting I'm beat great. up I didn't here. get any snow, but um, I'm guessing we're getting snow tomorrow. So. Yeah, yeah, I, that seems a safe bet. Safe tight. bet, indeed. <laughs> snow is tight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Snow um, is tight. Yeah, we've been watching way too many um, pitch meetings. Shout out to Screen Rant. Awesome. I still maintain awesome. there's awesome. no such thing as too it's many pitch right meetings, there. but, you know. But there you go. There you go. Pitch um, meetings are pretty awesome. They, pitch meetings are tight. They, they are <laughs> so funny, and I love them so much. Um, so, welcome to everybody. Uh, what we are going to talk about, we are going to check in on if we have gotten anything of note from the event runes or artifacts um we are going to talk about what i should six star next because this morning i had a little storage defense force clean out with myself slash things that were sitting waiting to be summoned yeah. three star fodder because you know I, I know I had talked about it, but, like, I really was questioning the sanity of, like, having 50, you know, Mavs waiting to be summoned. And, you know, I was like, I'm going to just use that for fodder and give myself a good leg up here. So, um, I did that. Um, of course, to anybody who has seen it, uh, Seppi and evan did a video that was so hilarious um and we were going to talk about that a bit where they were basically playing detectives trying to figure out who the top 10 uh free-to-play strippers in the game were and you know pretty pretty interesting oh, fun list um we are going to talk a little bit of WandaVision, of course, um, what we are both focusing on, and talk right. a little No Man's Sky and Genshin. And uh, Aztec, you actually yeah, watched one of the uh, media things, and uh, you said there was something funny in it uh, <laughs> that you wanted to, like under the media tab, one of the... Uh, videos that's there yes <laughs> absolutely um i definitely want to shout out the devs i always shout out the devs because they work so hard in this game they and do. this game is pretty awesome but um there was a video um they have a dev diary um pretty much um you know chronicling the whole um creation of the auto battles and you know the repeat battles for not only rta but for um you know, all these, I'm mean, sorry, not only um, TOA, but, you know, all these different game modes. And it was really due to a lot of feedback, you know, from the fans. Nice. And um, uh, the, you know, doing the interview, he, yeah, he, excellent. Like, um, Ginny Young CEO, um, I hope I didn't butcher that too bad, but he was the, um, he's the um, chief game designer and, you know, he posted the video. You can check it out on the media tab you know, in Summoner's War. Um, nice. However, um, you know, responding to a, a lot of feedback. And he, what's what's great about it is just like us, just like any other streamer or content creator, he gets nervous when he looks at the comments. You know, he <laughs> tries to, you know, combat any negative feedback with positive feedback. And he was genuinely nervous when he was, um, before he looked at the comments section. Hmm. We're never nervous because, you know, we, don't, we have thick skins. We're... We're tough old soldiers, like mm, Star and mm -hmm. I, so Accurate. shoot comments. Nothing we haven't heard before. But anyway, <laughs> um, back to Jin Young. Um, he was um, responding to one comment. Um, actually, two comments were, were uh, cracking me up. Um, one dude threw a gif of Ricky Bobby from... Um, Don't you, you stick know, that from, leg in uh, your... Fork in your leg, Ricky Bobby. Ignites, that's it. I'm 
paralyzed. Like, I'll show you. My hands. Because <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to do his that. hands now because of auto battles, which crack me up. You know, um, looks funny. like um, Jin had a, uh, you know, he cracked up a little bit also, so that was awesome. Um, however, uh, one, um, you know, uh, one comment was kind of funny. He was expecting that, you know, after maybe three or so repeat battles, that Comp Twist would actually, you know, ask for some money um, <laughs> <laughs> or, you know, ask for energy or, you know, a crystal refresh or something like that. And Jin's response was awesome he was like come on we're not that savage you know <laughs> not saying they're not savage no. but they're not that savage exactly me up. that so, is very funny but yeah check it out it's in the media tab um if you ever want to understand like what goes on behind the scenes of summoner's war you know definitely do that and and you those know, videos um, are quite entertaining because... yeah because I'm a behind the scenes guy anyway, you know, with, you know, production and such like that. So I'm always interested in the behind the scenes working of game development. So that's awesome. 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 I love that. How are you doing, Lightstar, in sunny Florida where there's no snow, there's no trace of frost giants it's, like it's, up here? It's raining. How do you like it? It's raining. It's raining outside. I don't like it. It's always it rains like, it's, it rains like every day. I know. I prefer a, a rain-free uh, since 93. Um, but yeah, no, I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. Um, in the light of watching some of the content that uh, come to us as uh, staff make, uh, Evan and Seppi had this yeah. amazing video. Um, and I do apologize. I don't. I didn't. Yeah. I didn't bother to write down the whole list of who who they were picking, but they, they were talking about the best free to play strippers in the game. And they were doing it like they were detectives trying to find out where all the buffs had gone and who had stolen them and all that. And it was just, it was a very funny video. I enjoyed it quite a bit and it was rather interesting altogether. Um, One second. Just going to hold here until I see my co-host uh, move again and show some signs of life. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Well, you know, let's keep uh, repeat battling here. Here we are, Fighter 3, the rank I can never seem to get past in life because I keep getting beat up. But we shall see. Ah, cute. That's her name. Cute, or his name. Their name, whomever they are. Let's go little want to get out ahead of you here. Okay, okay. I see what you're doing there. I see you. Susano Garo. Okay. You know what? I'm I'm not I'm not angry at, at anything they've done. I'm gonna, gonna wait and see though. And now his camera has gone completely. But that's okay. We are just going to oh, look at that. A little deafness action. Um, well, let's see. I would be rather stupid not to um, get rid of... Yeah, I'm going to get rid of get rid of his Draco because he would definitely have gotten out ahead of me. I know he's got a speed lead. So no sense in going for that. Oh, hey, buddy. You so back? Sorry. No, no, you're fine. You're fine. You okay? What happened? Oh. Well, when you kick out your um, charging laptop's um, adapter, guess what happens? 
<laughs> it, it instantly turns itself off because it had no battery life? It had no battery <laughs> Oh, Comedy Central. However, we are back. So, um, I, I, I'm just going to, st no, no, you're fine. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to just going to double back. So, uh, they basically were talking about trying to find out who had stolen all the buffs and they were two detectives who were, you know, trying to figure it out and, uh, figure it out. And they, <laughs> and they were, they were detectives, and, um, you know, they had ones like uh, Ager, the Water Barbarian King. Um, they had Chilling on there and all that. Um, but then the number one that they came up with was Clara. I'm going to pull her up. The Fire really? Purette. Um, now, I'm not sure if they were ranking them per se or anything like that but um you know she yeah. her s1 you know text throwing two cards each having a 50 percent chance to remove a beneficial effect so that's pretty good um attacks with a magic card weakens the enemy attack power and defense for two turns um when fully skilled up it's a hundred percent chance and uh, her S3 attacks all enemies three times with a spinning circle of fire, each strike having a 30% chance to remove one beneficial effect and stun the enemy for one turn and increases your attack speed for two turns after the attack when used with full HP. So, like, that's pretty formidable. Like, she's got two abilities that can... I do have a question. So, mm-hmm. Did they mention my girl Soha? water nine tails who strips like crazy who strips whole teams no they did not oh. <laughs> still clara's pretty awesome that is um she's high on my list but number one just because she does it to everybody on the list definitely soha i have to look if i have a soha and if so maybe i'll build her i think you, oh, you did i think you do I'm ninety four percent sure. Okay. Okay. Okay, AJ. I think okay. you do. Okay. Let's take okay. about ten percent right. off there. Okay. Okay. All right. 10%, <laughs> oh, oh, ten percent. Oh, ten. Yeah. Yeah. That's okay. fair, Wayne. Ten. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We've watched way too much Letter Letter Kenny. No Absolutely. such thing. Um, <laughs> but I I would have to go back and actually write down as I go what the list was, but I do not recall any Nine Tails. Being on there, I remember. Okay. I remember Ager. I remember Chilling. I remember uh, Belladian. Um, right. I remember Clara being the last one they mentioned. Who else? Okay. Who else? Perhaps there was a mermaid in there somewhere. <laughs> Merms. Merm. Merms. How funny. <laughs> Mm. So no, that's pretty awesome. Um, Evan and Seppi are, are, you know, big shout outs to them, you know, big supporters of the show. So, you know, we always like to support their endeavors. Um, I just love the campy kind of notion of their their videos. Oh, you know, they, they're the campiest they of camp and I love it. Unabashedly <laughs> it love everything is. about they're, it. They're very cool. Um, um, yeah. They they are quite great. Love their videos. Love them both. Yeah. They're wonderful people. Um, but after I get beat by this Vigor team here, um, see, here's oh, the thing. Actually... Eventually, I get to a point in RTA where I keep yeah. running into teams with Pioneers. And I don't know what it is, but I... I don't do well against teams with pioneers, and Magnum just one-shotted my my poor little fat Lucian like he was nothing. It was very sad. <laughs> now I'm going to do it back to you. Here's a bomb. Yeah, enjoy that. Enjoy Ciara just killing you in one shot. Jerk. <laughs> but what was your question? 
I did have a you brought up vigor, and I actually had a question for you um, about said werewolf people. Mm. Werewolf people doing werewolf um, things. I see a lot in yeah. I I see a lot in RTA. Uh, why? Why not East year? Why not the light? Um, I mean, I'll bring up um, Vigor's kid. But well, why not the? Because um, I really want to build a light werewolf. And I see they have a similar... Oh, uh, the Light Werewolf was over. one of the other ones that was in the video. Thank you for reminding me. Because I think he actually does a strip oh, as well. Okay, and I think... Does. Yeah. So... So the question is... If I pull is this off, so awesome I'm going to... Here. I'm just going to be so impressed. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't believe I beat him. Uh, wow. I did not think that was that was actually going to work. My good old crit damage build Bernard pulling it off again. <laughs> um, so you have okay, cool. I'll pull up vigor. So let's see. He's got the you know guild. Nobody needs that. S three. So he attacks the enemy three times. Forty five percent to decrease defense for three turns. Damage increases according to your max HP. Um, recovers HP of allies by 20% and increases attack speed for two turns. In addition, decreases the chances of allies receiving critical hits for two turns. That's nice. And attacks enemies with claws, disturbs HP recovery for one turn. Damage attack increases according to your max HP. So, I mean, the reason why all of that works really well in RTA is he's healing everybody. He's also disturbing their HP recovery. Everything is based on his max HP, so you can make him as an HP build, which would make it pretty right. easy. But what? It, go ahead, re, read off Eshir, and we'll compare notes. I, well, I see. Um, so 20%, and yeah, 20. So um, he has the same S2, Predator's Cry. Um, you know, recovers the HP of everybody, um, increases the attack speed for two turns. But his S3 um, Vigors is Shred, but Issues is Massacre. Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ooh. Do you I want mean, he does too. Or some massacre Cheese. Tough call. <laughs> Tough call. So Massacre, violently attacks the enemy four times and inflicts damage proportionate to your max HP. Like you said, make him an HP tank and uh, it removes beneficial effects. Yep, just like, you know, Evan and Seppi said. Um, if you successfully remove a beneficial effect, the damage inflicted on the remaining attacks is increased by 20%. Nice. Okay. So let's see what shreds. Okay. Decrease defense for three turns. Wow. Okay. So, I mean, so, I see why. you know, so, he's um, got a very good defense down, but yeah, I mean, removing beneficial effects. Yeah. And if you are successful doing more damage with the subsequent attacks, that's all pretty awesome. Yeah. Why damn. Okay, so, that is the. Sorry, I was just reading his name. Why damn. No problem. But thank you for answering that because I was really, I mean, I can definitely build a Vigor. I'm pretty sure I have a Water Werewolf somewhere in my storage defense force. <laughs> um, yeah, so, um, but yeah, I really wanted to build, I mean, I had Jolton, just wanted to build um, Eshir also, kind of have a one-two punch. Like, oh yeah, I, uh, like, if they but, um, ever have that choose your own L&D monster again, I'm I'm picking Eshir this yeah. time because he's the only one of that category I don't have yet. So he he is the last component to the family that I need. So I would okay. I would definitely definitely want one. I mean, and I've also seen them do tremendous amounts fun. of damage. Yeah, HP tanks, damage based on HP, and then um, defense down. For vigor, um, twenty percent more damage if you remove a beneficial effect for mm -hmm. Eshir. So I can see them being able to do whopping amounts of 
of damage. So yeah, absolutely. Okay, can I get a reduction in absolutely. their turn hit? But tell me about all your about all your spring cleaning about you getting rid of lots of monsters. Oh yeah, so I know I I kind of hinted at this. Um, I had a lot of monster pieces that were sitting in my summon henge waiting to be used. You know, if they hadn't gotten the stun, I almost right. had a chance of pulling this one off. Like, I was so close. It was like that, that close. I'm just going to hit auto because they're about to beat me. It's okay. I've accepted my fate now. Yeah. Um, no problem. So, I mean, not that that's what I used, but I had like 140 some three star rainbow mon. And there have been a lot of monsters that have been chilling at, like, four star. I also had gotten, um, I, my Loke was one of my first, like, monsters I brought up to five star way yes. back in the day. And I, I, remember. I went ahead and six starred him. So let me find him here. Um, so, like, my Yen, I had four... Rekshaw says, and I think I did this last week. So I had four of those. So I used one five star Rainbow Mon for that. Um, that was the same week I I did Miho here. So she's good. Um, earlier this morning, when I was doing my spring cleaning, I had three uh, extra brownie magicians, I believe, that were spare, that were all four star maxed. So I. I made them all five stars, and then I basically ground out a couple more uh, things so that I could six-star him. So I six-starred him. Um, I six-starred Loke here. Um, I actually uh, have not put runes back on him yet, um, and I have to actually fix Orion's runes. But I just ruined uh, good old Yen here. So attack, crit damage, attack, Excellent. and swift and blade. Um, I also had four, uh, sky dancers that were all five star or four star right. maxed. So I made them five stars and built just another like four star fodder rainbow mon up. And I okay. six starred my Mi Hiang because I watched a couple videos about both the fire and the water sky dancer and right. and it seemed like the water one had slightly more utility okay. so i was i i decided i would go with her first and later on do the other one um and then like lesser things i did was um i had my mina who is four star maxed? I see her a lot in RTA. Yeah, can you um, explain why? Because I mean, Miho, I get, you know, I absolutely get, you know, Wind Marshal Cat. Um, but why, why the water? What is so? Well, I mean, uh, uh, you uh, have an increased chance of attacking with a critical hit if they have no harmful effects. So you pair that with um, anybody like one of the strippers that we talked about, and. Right you know, you're going to get a pretty good result. Um, the S2 here, um, they reduce your attack bar and they, I mean, she just hits hard. Like that's, <laughs> that's just the thing. Like what I've found is she, she just crushes people. Like, I mean, when I've, when I've gone up against them, I, that's what I've seen is just, I sometimes get beat like I owed them money. Um, I also went ahead really? and five-starred my Gemini because, again, I had enough brownie magicians sitting around that I could make four stars, so I could make him into a five-star and uh, Orion into a six-star. Um, gotcha. Things I'm going to uh, five-star in a little bit, uh, Malaka, Susano, um, Clara... Draco and Zabralta and I think yeah that was the only ones that were active pro oh and uh bearing the uh, dark 
uh, one. And of course, my third Lucian, I want to build him up so I can start doing nonsense. And I also, um, my, my great luck that my shame that I had awoken poor Woonhack, uh, back in the day. And I was forever shamed about this. And well, guess what? And finally, the RN Jesus uh, gave me the clairvoyance to get a second one. And finally, now I have. And actually, uh, now that I have the second one, I'm going to admit something. Back when I first started, I actually had two wound hacks. Um, and I used the one to skill up the other because I was like, oh, I would never need two of these. I've had three. Now, that's not nearly as bad as my Mantura problem, which I've had easily What's your nine. Mantura problem? Well, here. Let me let me just, you know, for for the fun visual effect this is going to have. Now, mind you, I have used several of these. Like you can this see here. This, this is <laughs> this is how many basalts I currently have is four basalts, okay? Okay. But that's not as bad as this problem. So here are, let me scroll down here so we got them all on one page. Okay, so there's my Mantura I use actually. And then one, two, three, four, five. Okay, I have five right now and I have easily used four other Manturas for fodder. So I have, have a, nine in total. I have enough that I could still six star all of these Manturas and still I would have had spares. Now, the other oh, thing about it, and, and like this is, like I've actually thought about it. I know it sounds like a very gimmicky team, but I've thought you, how, you how much fun would it be to have a Toa team that would just be five different builds of Mantura, just CC and and dot for Dots. days, just five Dots five dark days. serpents. Call it a day. Um, but so, I, I I do genuinely want to six star my basalt because I've never done it. Right. Um, so that is another side project uh, I need to work on, but. Yeah, those My those were problem. all the things that I was five starring or six starring or six such, star. um, because so I had the ability. Is your first tall heroes? Oh, who was your first tall heroes? Mina. May. May. I knew that. So no. <laughs> I, I, I I forgot her name, but I yes. That's why I put it up so I know, I wasn't looking. I was I was making sure I locked this self because I forgot to lock him before. You got the name part of the test wrong. Eh. <laughs> All you have to do is look up. I got the M. You should be proud of me for that. <laughs> yes. I am. But um I'm picking her to um build not only because it was your first um I'm sorry, not first Hall of Heroes, first secret dungeon. Yeah. Sorry, so that's my fault. Yeah. And I was so, able. Um, no, I think she. No, attacks. no. I think she was the Hall of Heroes because. No, Hall of Heroes are always four star. It was definitely the secret dungeon. Huh. <laughs> Clara, was your first Hall of Hero? Oh, Fire right. pirate, pure, pure, pure. Who knows? Anyway, but I'm definitely building May just because. Um, I don't have a light um, martial cat, and she counterattacks. And her full destructive punch is exactly that. Because, um, kind of like the werewolves, it, um, you know, it's proportioned to her HP. So she really hits. Why am I doing this? Like, I need to clear space. So um, the last of the martial cats, you know, I'll do the water one just to round out the ones that I have. I really want a light one, but I have Miho, so I can't really be too um you know too upset about it but what, um what, yeah, what, why do you want awesome. why do you want the uh the light one same reason you do to fill out the set 
<laughs> That's all. Ah, uh, your Ooh, Pokemon that's... tendencies. I get that. I ha- They're growing on me, especially since I started playing um, Summoner's War. You know what's funny? Uh, I've never really mm-hmm. read her, her kit before. Um, I have her, and she's mm-hmm. awoken, but um, her passive absorbs attack bar by 20% if you attack a monster with the same or lower HP status, which means the more they're damaged, the more attack bar you get. Um, yes. And if they have more HP than you, you recover your HP by 20% of damage dealt. Um, and you get a counterattack, which it's increases your critical rate for two turns. And you increase your attack bar by 50%. And the damage you receive will be reduced by half when you get attacked while the school's on, skill is on cooldown. And of course, the spinning punch. Hmm. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. I, I, I can't say I'm mad at that. Um, but, as you may notice, uh, this is something I am going to six star, but it does not count towards our discussion because I have five <laughs> I have five other griffins that are chilling that are going to get six star. Like, you can see it's a slow grind. Like, they're three star now, so this is going to take a while. But eventually down because the thing is i really do want to six star my spectra but sometimes it feels like i don't need to six star my spectra like that they're doing they're doing enough the way they are but it is something like on the back burner that i do want to have happen at some point so so there is that um of course, my Saf and my uh, Thrain are both six starred and maxed out, so I should definitely, I, su- I should actually give some runes to Thrain one of these days. Um, Did you two A them yet? Oh yeah, both of them are two A. I also oh, like in my uh, active here. I do have the Light One Prom, I have Hamos, and I have Heva. Um, all basically waiting. So like I. It, it is my intention to eventually just six star all of them, but definitely I have so many martial cats that I could summon and that are in the sealed uh, storage that I I definitely I I'm going to go ahead and do it. I'm going to six star both uh, May and Mina um, because I'm I'm in the process of doing the water one for Mina. Um, and you do bring up a good point. It was one of my first, like, you know, special special dungeons that I got. Secret, so, yeah, yeah, um, And, I mean, and I've already six-starred Naomi, who just hits, like, a freight train, which is just... I love my Naomi. Oh. <laughs> She's so good. Um, and, I mean, <laughs> and, and, you know, and my Miho's, like, you know, cooking along. So, I mean... Again, it, it's it's a family of oh, monsters. I, I can. Uh, violent and nemesis. I went vampire. Attack, crit damage, attack. But she's got a built-in vamp mechanic, so. Yeah. More vampire. Hmm. No die. <laughs> Let's see. But how would I ruin her? Yeah, vampire blade, attack speed, and crit damage. She no die. No die. No die, me. There you go. There you go. Um, but you went violent, right? Mm-hmm. Violent nemesis. Violent and what? Oh, Nem- good. That's, that's actually kind of cool. Yeah. Um, but... So, it, the this... nemesis is always pumping um, the attack bar, and she's healing because of her built-in and, you know... Violent procs, so oh, that's good. Yeah, the more, the more attacks, the merrier. Um, <laughs> so angry. that does uh, bring up a fantastic point. So all of these side projects and all, like I said, I'm going to be doing the martial cats, the other three that I have yet to, or I mean, basically four that I have yet to six star. Um, yeah. They're all going to be in the works, no problem there. Um, I probably one of these days as a lark because I do have five lins total. I am probably going to go Jeez. ahead and 
just for a gimmicky thing, make all five lens so that I can I can see how how that would be. Um, all five of them. You can six to all five of them. AJ, I I absolutely have more than enough lens, or I mean more than enough Amazons to Amazons, right. literally put in every bit of my like casual level up places, let them yeah. all get, you know, to where I need them and six star them. So yeah, I, and honestly, after I do that, that would be another family of monsters that I would probably six star the other attributes because I do have them as well. So I mean, for me, that's, you know. Ooh. Interesting. I do have a so, question. Um, it's a very weird team I have on here. Hero, and there was an awesome Hall of Heroes that just passed. Oh, um, yes. The Dark Slip. Yes, that is... Uh, I, literally, I literally <laughs> just summoned... Um, I think I have three in waiting. Um, I summoned my really? one... And I'm I'm going to. It's a very weird team I have here. <laughs> Anyways, they did the job. I, I I don't I I don't often farm the Hall of Magic, so like it's it's fine. It's just a very interesting team that I had here. So, um, but yeah, no, the Dark Self is just an amazing monster. Um. Uh, Schizophrenic Gamer did a video about that very monster, like kind of previewing yeah. how it was going to be. Um, but once you uh, awaken him, so his I've turbulence. Two words. Sleep mm. team. Sleep team. Right? Um, he causes turbulence to set the enemy's attack bar to zero and increases your attack bar by yeah. 50. So it's kind of like a, a Ganymede, uh, a poor man's Ganymede, because, you know, he's doing it to a single target. Um, as right. you did say, surrounding all the enemies with night uh, and putting them to sleep for two turns, prevent them from removing, receiving beneficial effects for two turns. Now, that alone, like, you could take the sleep mechanic away, but the preventing... Yeah like beneficial effects i mean that could be good in a number of places for sure yes. because you know blocking beneficial effects is amazing um and then throwing a small spirit at the enemy increasing critical rate 30 percent by at your next turn if you get a critical hit so like that to me like he's he is out to do damage and as you say, a nice sleep team, like, you know, having some, you know, some of the succubi with him and, you know, maybe, oh, wasn't there maybe a bomber the or something? Tails. A nine tails. Yeah. Uh, the yeah, dark one, the right? Bomber team dark, one. dark, dark one. Yeah. She does absolutely. sleep. Yeah. Um, also a dark yep. brownie magician. He'd be another good yes. one. Um, Oh, and I forgot. The last of my weird side projects is this one, uh, Ramahan. Because I don't think anybody actually uses the wind uh, Inugami. So I decided in protest I would I would level him up. So, <laughs> so there we are. I'm going to level him up. Uh, yeah. Um, how do you pronounce this Dark Sliff's name? I have no idea. Uh, Ashu Bell. Good enough. I'll roll with that. You know that's the beautiful thing about this game. There's uh, no audio phonics telling us we're wrong when we butcher names of things. So suits me just fine. Um, but Absolutely. this does bring up the most important, like all my side projects aside. Oh, look at Vela Jewel. <sighs> All your side projects aside. Very funny. All your side <sighs> projects aside, what, what um you Yeah, what what should I six star next? Um I'm gonna tell you, uh Mo Long, of course, always right up there with the I mean, here's the thing. 
he's so coveted, I know I should. <laughs> and I know that sounds terrible, but like so many people have been dying to get that monster, and I've had him for so long, and so mo long, and I have yet to six star him. Um, also, Alicia, um, you know, the polar queen, water polar queen. I mean, great crowd control right. monster. Um, I feel like maybe if I built her to six star, I could change my um, my water homunculus to maybe a fire or a wind homunculus. So I could, you know, because, I mean, that's a great thing about homunculi is they're basically filling in for where you're lacking in five stars elsewhere. Yeah. Like, they're fantastic at what they do, but, like, that's the beauty is they can go anywhere and do anything that they need to. Um, of course, Triton, my um, my little wind sea emperor, uh, is another that I was thinking. And of course, both of my dragon knights, the uh, wind Leo and Laika, the fire. Um, that is mainly what is on deck for... Um, I'm... Everybody, uh, if you didn't listen last time, I'm I'm doing the summon pieces for Ifrit, so every five weeks for right. the next, yeah. uh, you know, 30 weeks or so, like almost a year, I'm going to be building Ifrit's just to six-star the three that I've never six-starred. So they are getting six-starred. They're very important to me, and I do want them six-starred, but... I'm also patient enough to not worry about it and every five weeks be able to summon another one. Wait, no, so it'd probably be more than that, right? Because every five weeks, yeah. I get one. takes five of those, so it'd take yeah. 25 weeks. So, yeah, we're looking at, like, 75 weeks. So And I'm okay with that. A year and a half to six-star all three of them? Okay. That is okay. Okay. So, so what do, um, what are you thinking? Who... Definitely to answer the question, it's the same the same answer as last week, which was Triton, Triton, yeah. Triton, Triton, Wind, Emperor, Triton. You're gonna ask me again? I'm gonna tell you again. <laughs> well, I mean, I ask definitely because I had so many side projects that you know I got distracted, and it'll only take me three weeks to six star him. So. Uh, actually, it'll only take me two more weeks because yes. I have yet to get my Rainbow Mon from Toa Heroic. Uh, I've only done Toa Normal so far this week. Um, you know, uh, I, I know there was a few other things we were going to talk about, but also we are getting close to the end because, you know, of our little snafu. Now, I mean... Uh, I, we can throw it in real quick. Um, we've both been playing some No Man's Sky. We're both enjoying that game quite a lot. So big shout out to the Hello crew Definitely. over there. Um, their like okay. updates yeah. are just wonderful. Um, I I have recently just gotten to the point where I am getting research computers at my base. So. There are people who are basically standing at my base trying to make it better than it was, so good for them, and uh, I'm enjoying that. And, <laughs> well, I mean, you know, it's, you know, it's very, it's very cool that now I feel like there's more of a community at my bases than, you know, just me standing there waiting for the refinery to give me my, my space cheddar. Around, not freezing. Right. Uh, actually, the planet I put them on is radiation, but close, good. close. Um, and then Genshin. Um, Even better. I've better. I've been doing a lot for the Theater Mechanicus event, so I I am all yes. caught up. And if anybody's playing it, there is just such a a fun <laughs> like tower defense game. 
where basically your characters are still there, like you set up towers, and then you can like use your geo characters like Zhang Li or something to put up blockades, or you can use frost abilities to right. slow them down. So a lot of cool things like that that have been going. Ah, uh, Q50 Red Sport. Thing. Thank you for the follow. Would you be? Ah, uh, very nice. Welcome. <laughs> Um, sorry, go on. Uh, do I see it being a mechanic going forward? Do you think that a uh, permanent, yeah. Yep. Do you think that's going to be a permanent fixture? You know, I, I definitely would love it. <laughs> um, I have said, even if the event aside, yeah. I would, I would love to see Genshin keep that mechanic for going forward with okay. the, you know... With all of like, I mean, it's just so fun. It's a fun diversion issues. from from what you're doing normally, like right. from going totally out and normal. farming dungeons and farming bosses and things like that. It's kind of fun to be playing right. this kind of strategy tower defense thing. So I know it won't last, but you know, it's it's a lot of fun okay. at the time. So, um, did you have any updates on? Uh, no man's sky or anything like uh what where where are you at in the world um you told me about an update that's going on um you said some quality of life you know what i mean yeah so what was um what did you talk about the updates for no man's sky um so the biggest thing i noticed was before you had to go and essentially go into your multi-tool or something and remove or, you know, destroy pieces. And now, if, like, you're comparing freighters or something and you want to buy the new freighter, you can essentially just go in and click on everything right. and it instantly puts it into the storage of the new one. So, it, I, I don't know what else has been updated necessarily yet, but that was just something I noticed that made it really easy. Another is instead of having in conversations to move the cursor over to the selection you want for selecting your, um, whatchamacallit, selecting the conversation that you want to do, uh, you can actually just, it defaults to going there. So very, very cool have been enjoying that um and i see your battery is dying so why don't we just write into the summons i um we have been keeping with the project so far i'm up to 34 or so uh wow i need more room if i'm going to do all these um and because you know we're going for broke here and uh we're not worried about uh how many it is because we're just going till we hit that uh sizing cap that we talked about i am going to use every single scroll that i have in my okay. inventory right now just moving 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 every everybody must go except the ones i'm worried i might lose so Ooh, this is so many monsters. All right, there we go. So, uh, I have a legendary from Toa. I have a light and dark, a water, a fire, four wind, 15 mysticals, and no scam stones because I've been disappointed by them already because I've been trying for really any of the three five stars. How about you? What are you opening? Oh, you froze again. Is that it? Froze again. The name of his album. Froze again. He froze and froze. I'll go and do some RTA. Oh, there you are. Welcome back. Welcome back. 
Welcome back. Welcome back. So good news. Uh huh. Bad news if you want to. Uh huh. My milkshake brings all the boys to the my yard. Home. My <laughs> <laughs> My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard and they're like, it's better than yours. Please continue. Um, I don't know. My laptop just stopped charging while I was plugged in and then started again. Great. Um, anyway. <laughs> but yeah, you're gonna... I thought you were doing 16 each. Each, each run. I mean, this is just barely over 16. Okay, so then but, fine. But you know what? 16, you're right. That was. So I want to do the legendary. I want to do the light and dark. Three, four, eight. Eight. So eight. Okay, I'll do eight mystical, and then I'll do the rest, my other fancier scrolls. That's right, because I, I said I would try to keep it, like, mainly the three per day in my real life. And then extra when we were here, so. So I've been doing, I mean, if you check the spreadsheet, I've been doing a lot of wind scroll. You know, I, I noticed that. Are you going for, like, uh, Barbara or something or Jameer or Pungbeak or something? Like, what what is it you're aiming at that you want? Well, there's only one. If there was a monster, and it's a wind monster, I can only just pick one, and that's Ganymede. Mm. Ganymede. Ganymede. Yeah. Ganymede. Of all the <laughs> rights that I could invoke, I plead the fifth. Ganymede. F -f -f five. Ganymede. <laughs> Ganymede. One, two, three, four, five. Ganymede. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, so let's... Let's get no you Ganymede. Um, I'm going to pull a Ganymede. From you know, a you, you form pulled a uh, Daphnis, so I don't think that your goal is that lofty, if I'm being completely honest. I hear you. All right. It is. Well, lofty. you let me know when you are ready, and we will get this summon train uh, going. Some and train. So I did um, increase everything to 500. Well, 490, but now it's 500. Perfect. I mean, it's 510 now. What am I talking about? What the heck am I talking about? And you know your uh, your phone uh, went to sleep or something, yep. Yep. That cool. would be helpful. Yeah, I mean, I want to see yeah. you get Ganymede. I mean, seeing your reaction will be great. But I want to also see you get Ganymede. Want it? Want to see too. it? I want to see that myself. Mm -hmm. so, let's, so let's get Lonely Screen going up. Shout out to Lonely Screen. You're making our lives a lot easier. Bye. You are the Just first me. search result. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Looks All right. like. This guy has space. Should I count it down? Oh, yes. Absolutely. Three, two, one. I am so not ready. Okay, well, you know. <laughs> Three, two, one. And summon. My whole mojo was thrown off by that false start. False start. Offense. Okay, I got some lightning. You got some lightning. Very nice. What'd you get? Oh, wind sniper. Not bad. My and I got third a wind sniper. And I got a fire undine. So, I'm gonna have a, a shooting gallery very soon. Probably. Because, I mean, it's a lot of wind snipers. JD gave me the L&D bump, and I got the, um, the dark sniper. 
Oh, nice. He was, um, so I have a lot of sniperifics. A lot of sniperifics going on. I'm into my attribute scrolls. So far, so nothing, nothing of note. Fire, nothing. Oh, Another I salamander. Have an also. You need those. Water, nothing. Griffin. You need salamanders. All right. Uh, let me know in your new. Ooh. All right. Another lightning, Malika. Nice, nice. See a dupe. Um, only my second Malika. Nice. I do have a um, LMD. Should I pop that one? Yeah. Are you are you nearing the end of your scrolls? Because I saved my last two have, for with you. I have four more. Total? Do two more, yeah. whatever you want, and then uh, and then let me know, and then we'll do our last two together. Okay. Got it. Gollum. Gollum. Precious. Mal. Precious. They stood it from us to do those wicked tricks and hobbitses. Okay, no more Gollum. Gollum. Freaking me out. Gollum. All right, one more and then my LND. All right, I'm going to do my LND and then my legendary. LND, no lightning. What else is new? Come on. Uh, another bounty hunter. All right, guaranteed lightning. Here we go. Hey, look we at just talking about basalt. Basalt. Wow, and look at I got another. Uh, I got another uh, guy. I don't use um, oh, galleon. Just kidding. I use galleon sometimes. Ugh. Jk. Lol. No, Jk. No. And now all of you get into right. the shameful corner of my island. Perfect. <laughs> Absolutely. So that was some good summon summon slash gambling. Good times. You got to love shouting it. out today? Um, you know all the usual suspects: uh, JD, the gamer, Nelly. Evan, Seppi, uh, Gigi, all the crew over it come to us, all the devs, um, yep. you know, uh, just everybody that works so hard, like all the content creators out there, like keeping the game fresh and lively. Um, and, you know, of course you, uh, keeping at it every week, we are uh, trying some new things, so that's why occasionally there are little speed bumps, but... Every week, I enjoy getting to chat with you, and, uh, you know, I, for one, am going to either be very happy when we are done with this 125 scrolls, or very sad. It's going to be one of the two, so, like... I'm guessing happy. You know... I'm pro I've been wrong before. <laughs> again, I, I will be happy if, if it means that we have gotten a five star in the 125 thus proving the the proof that um it is better or it doesn't matter whether you save them or not that you average out the same rate because to be honest okay. um if i found out that i had this same amount of luck one way or the other i would probably be a scroll saver going forward I would probably be a minimum three three summons, probably mostly friend summons, and I would leave it at that. Um, just because, I, I don't know, like, lately it's like I get so distracted with so many different things I want to do that I, I would not, like, honestly, if I could get a pioneer, though, a pioneer and an archangel, really, that's all I want. <laughs> And maybe a dragon. Those three things. Just one of each we, of them. We just keep going. <laughs> just one of we each. Going. We're fine. I'm out the door at three. Um, <laughs> but, uh, and definitely, you know, all all our friends over on the Discord, DSC Justin, Hyungin, uh, keeping it real, having his Chucky Bickies down under, um, <laughs> you know, and, uh, you know, just anybody who listens who maybe we haven't, you know, had the pleasure of getting to chat with you yet, but, you know, I hope 
we do get to in the future. Come join us on our Discord and hang yeah. out. Talk some nonsense. Talk <laughs> the nonsense. How about you? I am definitely going to shout out. Um, going to mess up his... Hi, his T. Curry. Oh, definitely going to shout out whoever's watching us now, which is awesome. Someone just followed you. I'm going to shout them out. Yeah, um, this one... Jin this Young's... This one is uh, just messaged us just a moment ago, needing help with a dragons team. Ooh, intriguing. We should take a minute and do that. You do your shout outs, and then we're going to double back to T. Crary here. No, let's do it now. Oh, I'm in the middle of an RTA, so uh, I, I'm in an inconvenient location for it. You can give your suggestion, though. Uh, I always run Water Twins on... Um, on said dragons teams um if you do have a soha soha is a um a pretty good lead because you know 40 percent to um you know water damage good old water nine let's, tails let's see. i'll show you my my current dragons too let's see who is on, on my current or i don't understand um Verdhal, um, Elsharian, wow. Good, stealing the buffs. Yep. Um, Fran, of course, and Water Twins. That's nice. my current um, Dragons team, which are wonderful. Actually, actually awesome. Um, so I got Verd as the speed lead. Um, you can try Elsharian as the lead also, because they're an attack lead. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. So high if you really want to double... Um, if you have water twins, you know, double the, the, that water damage. Um, or even Fran, you can run as a lead, you know, because she's... Get a little the, speed um, bump. Speed lead, yep. So nice. either one of those three would be halfway decent speed leads, or if you have um, a water nine tails. Now just roll over and, and die. She, he, okay. she steals buffs okay. also, so Elsharian, you know, Soha, Sora. I keep saying Soha from freaking um, Kingdom Hearts. Sora... The Water Nine Tails um, would be a pretty <laughs> awesome Dragons team. Hopefully that, that helps. And uh, now that I'm done, I'm going to go over and uh, show you my team real quick. I don't want to see your team. Too bad. Show us your team. Uh, wait, nope, that Come was on. wrong. Uh Oh, so, God. 12th floor, uh, oh. I went pretty much very similar. Verd lead, uh, Elsharian, uh, Lauren, and Fran, and uh, uh, Fire Inagami. Come on, what's his name? Hold on, it's the in my brain somewhere. Cowgirl. What's... So you went Lauren. What's his name? Excellent. Fire, Fire Inagami. It's in my brain somewhere. Rauk? 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 To a... Yep. Rauk for Rauk? Joke. No, that... Bark for Tark is uh, the water. Bark for Tark, sorry. <laughs> Barking for Tark is the water hellhound. Um, yeah, but this is the fire in Nukami. I'm sorry that I had it. Yep, Roke. Uh, so, yeah, so I went Roke, I went uh, Lauren, and Fran, and Verd lead for turn cycling, yeah. and. You know, so basically, I mean, it's just taking a whole bunch of turns, stealing the buff if he does get it, stripping the buff otherwise, and just pretty good damage because there's defense breaking going on. Yep. Um, defense breaking, group so, attacks. Right. So, and I mean, and not a bad time. I know there are faster and better teams probably out there, but uh, 215 on B12 for dragons is the time that i have i have been able to get so um i hope that helps um as always if you do uh want to join our discord and uh ask more detailed questions we can definitely yeah. get into it a bit more but um for now i i think that is about going to do it for us yeah, absolutely. Um, but yeah, definitely want to shout out um, the devs. Um, definitely want to shout out. Uh, I, I'm gonna screw up his name again. Shin Young um, Sao. Shin Young Sao, the chief game designer. Definitely want to shout him out. I'm just 
want to wrap my hands around all the hard work they've been putting into the game. Mm -hmm. You know, we have auto farming on so many different levels now. It, it's just great. I'm super happy about that. Um, yeah, who else am I shouting out? I um, already shouted out River Horse the Brewery. Um, <laughs> yeah. I will shout out one of my role models, Yamato Musashi, the author of Book of Five Rings. Great book. Uh, I actually got Lightstar a copy. <laughs> he did. Go read it. Look for it. Read it. It's mm. awesome. It'll help you with strategy. Since this is a strategy game, it'll help you with strategy in the game and in life. So, shout out um, good old Miyamoto Musashi. In? And Gigi. <laughs> shout out Gigi. Um, but, you know... We hope you enjoyed it. Have a great week, everybody. And uh, we'll catch you next time. Hopefully yes, less uh, less hiccups next time for sure. Less kicking out of, <laughs> of plugs. I have to put these surge protectors away from my feet. It's that <laughs> simple. But yeah, new episodes every Saturday. Reach out to us, mrgtsw at gmail, mrgtsw on Instagram, mrgtsw on Reddit. MRGTSW on Facebook, at Rancher's Guide on the Twitter, and Monster Rancher's Guide to the Universe on Discord. Um, our link to our Discord is on our Instagram, and it's on our Twitter also. So come on down. If you have topics that you want on the show, let us know. And uh, maybe we will go into Dragons a little bit more in depth next week. So it's a good idea. Have, have a great a week. Everybody, may you get lightning in your future. Live long and prosper. Peace and long life.